What is up, baseball fans? I'm Chris Jardine, a.k.a. Snaggle J, community manager for Out of the Park Baseball's Perfect Team, back with a brand new episode of This Week in Perfect Team. Today is February 4th, 2019. In this episode of This Week in Perfect Team, we will reveal the third batch of community-requested cards with two players who are probably two of the more requested players who are not currently in the game. That's right. We're going to be introducing two brand new top level guys who do not have a card in the game right now. And I, you know what? I'm just going to put it out there right now. One of the Bo Jackson, not in this content set. No Bo Jackson. I already see the bows, all kinds of bows, bows. No bow. Deion Sanders, definitely Deion Sanders. Three Deion Sanders. Um, also, guys, we're going to review Season 9. We're going to talk about a few things. First up, guys, if you're here for the first time, if you're not playing Out of the Park Baseball 19, right now the game is available for $4.99 us as part of the steam lunar new year sale go to steam look up otp 19 five bucks five bucks gets you the full out of the park baseball 19 experience including access to perfect team jump on in there jump jump on in there give out of the park baseball 19 a try if you haven't already Pick it up for a friend. It's five bucks. Get in. Get used to it. Because, guys, OTP 20 is right around the corner. So, get in now. Get used to it. Also, guys, uh, I want to give a big shout-out to uh, Chris and the rest of the dev team who were able to get the new seeding algorithm and friends feature working in time for Season 10. I know I got... Probably two dozen DMs. Uh, I saw all your positive feedback in the Discord, uh, on Twitter, about the Friends feature um, being functional. Um, so uh, I just wanted to say, first of all, for all you guys who reached out with some positive feedback, uh, I appreciate that. Um, so, hey, and you know what? One thing I'm really looking forward to, guys, there's one perfect league out there. I think it's 400. Um, they have 50 titles between the 30 teams in the league, which is, that's insane. 50 titles in that league. Awful. That one's going to be a tough one. All right. Let's, 165 perfect players. <laughs> that is the league of doom. Uh, and we're, so we're going to do, we're going to do recap. Let's do recap. Boom. Season recap, season nine, January 28th to February 3rd. Uh, it was a great season. Not a great season for me personally. We'll talk uh, talk more about that later. Uh, let's see. This is nine. Congratulations to our, what is that, 14? Our 14 Perfect League champions, the Cincinnati Redlegs, the Amesbury Indians, the Ypsilanti Angry Dragons, the St. Paul Fighting Saints, the Chiari Open Pam U Pam U. The Ninja Black Sox, the Santa Maria Ghost Riders, San Francisco 49ers, Lake Monroe Doctrine, Dragic Visions, Redmond Coyotes, the Calgara Kings, the Chernobyl Meltdown, and the Adirondack LOL Cats. Congratulations to all of you guys for picking up a perfect league championship in season nine. Let's jump in. So, guys, these here, this is a new thing this week. That I wanted to try. These are the highest average cards across the entirety of the game in terms of production. So you can see the 1920 Babe Ruth is the best home run hitter with an average of 33 home runs per card. Stan Usual with 94 RBIs. Peak Ty Cobb with 178 hits. Um, stolen bases, the 1915 Ty Cobb with 81, which by the way, that Ty Cobb card averages 30 more 
stolen bases than any other card in the game last week, <laughs> which is just crazy. And then there in the pitching department, you got Pedro Martinez with 19 wins and 249 Ks. That's the 99 variant. And the peak Mariano Rivera with 33 saves. Season leaders for hits. You guys may remember this feature from last week. I'm going to see. Can I get myself maybe just 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 uh, just out of the way a little bit? There we go. Well, we'll kind of get over there just some. So peak Ty Cobb, or no, 1911 Ty Cobb in the Perfect League. Bonsai 13 had 236 hits. 1977 Rod Carew, who I don't think, I don't think Rod Carew made the list in the last two weeks. Uh, but he led the Diamond and the Silver League. Uh, big man, eight U's, 245 hits. And Benson class, 256 hits down in the old Silverino. Uh, peak Ty Cobb had 229 hits for Magic 13-13 in gold. And 2004 each row had 249 hits for Tribe 2018. Let's look at home runs. We're going to see some Babe Ruth on here. The 1921 of Go Yanks leads the Perfect Leagues with 48. 1953 Eddie Matthews for Mondo Coco had 50 in the Diamonds. 89 Kevin Mitchell, MG Johnson 23, 55 home runs in gold. The 1920 Babe Ruth had 62 Home runs to lead all of perfect team for Cleric 42. And live J.D. Martinez had 60 home runs for Bailey in the Bronze League. RBIs. Go Yanks is Babe Ruth leading in that category as well with 142. Diamond Ga uh, the Gavi Cravath from 1913 for K. Vo the SG. 148 RBIs. J.D. Martinez goes back-to-back -back in gold and silver. Larry Dew, four with 150. Pete Pet Gone Bad with 156. Peak Duke Snyder for Remington. I can't, it was a big, long name. It was really cool. I think it was like Remington Winchester the third. It was kind of cool. But it really just blew up my whole slide. So I shortened it. RW3. You're welcome. 161 RBIs. Um, no one. Batting average in the perfect leagues, 1920. George Sisler making his first appearance on the weekly recap to the 359. Crow Hop 2's Tony Gwynn, 397. 397 in the Diamond Leagues. 1922 Rogers Hormy led the Gold Leagues for a rally with 367. Now, there's the Rod Carew. Benson Class is Rod Carew, 392 in the Silver Leagues. And they're on the Bronze League, an old favorite of yours and mine, 2001 Ichiro hitting 380. 380. Jackpot, what's going on, man? I see the Snaggle Champs in the chat. What's up, dude? How you doing, buddy? Welcome. Welcome, welcome. All right, let's uh, take a look at stolen bases. Everyone loves stolen bases. We got our usual favorites up here. Ty Cobb with 124. Ty Cobb with 133. Clyde the Glide Milan with 95 in the old gold leagues. And then back-to-back -back Ricky Henderson's with 112 in silver and 99 in bronze. So the usual guys, Ty Cobb, Clyde Milan, Ricky Henderson, putting in some work let's jump to some pitchers check out some w's perfect leagues 1999 pedro martinez easily the best pitcher in the game quasar was the benefit of 29 wins diamond wilbur wood uh, wilbur wood 1971 from our old buddy jeff 33 wins leading all of perfect team friggin wilbur wood can't i, can't, I know Gold, I can't even spell Jacob DeGrom, guys. Can't even spell Jacob DeGrom. That's 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 a special that's a special card that you have to unlock. Jacon DeGrom uh, for Shelk. Shelk is the only guy in the game that has him. 29 wins. Uh peak Pete Alexander with 27 in silver. The 2001 Randy Johnson for and Amanda Rake had 28 wins. Let's take a look at saves. 
some odd names on this list. There were some odd names on the list last week. Matt Harvey <laughs> leading the perfect league with 47 saves. You have Patrick Corbin in there. Future legend Cal Quantrill leading all of perfect team with 54 saves. Get some Mariana Rivera and some Dennis Eckersley for my good buddy Respawn TV with 51. But yeah, Matt Harvey leading the perfect leagues and saves. So there you go. It, and uh, uh, Patty Corbs. Patty Corbs with a 51 save season in gold. I mean, hey, that's a gooder. Let's take a look at the old strikeouts. Randy Johnson with 367 in the bronze leagues. 99 Pedro Martinez leads silver and perfect with 323 and 294 respectively for uh, the SAFN was a big long one. I don't remember what it is. I'm sorry. I got to find a better way to do this next week. Twins fan getting the uh, Pedro in the perfect league. 2001 Randy Johnson with 301 in diamond for no amorce one. And 1932 Dizzy Dean for Braylon C08. 308 in the gold. Last but not least, qualified ERA. Perfect league. Again, 99 Pedro Martinez, the GOAT. E Lutz 31, 1.74 ERA. Diamond Live Chris Sale for CP 31, 1.94. Gold, the 1984 Dwight Gooden for Illiterati with a 1.56. Silver, we got the 1912 Walter Johnson for Card underscore Shark, 1.45. And in bronze, 1934 Dizzy Dean for Sir Ryan the Pounder, 1.53. Now, so I decided what I was going to do is I was going to select the players of the week based on the players, the two, the hitter and pitcher with the highest win probability added on average per team. And those two players this week are 1923 Babe Ruth, who on average hit 281 with 94 runs scored, 25 homers, and 88 RBIs across all levels. And obviously, the 1999 Pedro Martinez was 19 and 6 on average with 249 strikeouts, 25 quality starts, 5 shutouts, and a 2.48 ERA. 964 overall Vladdy Jr. incoming. Yes. Yes. As always, guys, um, if you have any suggestions of things you would like to see in the recap, um, let me know. DM me in the Discord, discord.gg slash OTP. You'll find me in the upper right corner, Chris, Perfect Team CM. Send me a message. Let me know. Uh, uh, obviously, the whole point of this segment is to give you guys a little window into what's going on around Perfect Team. Somebody had suggested earlier about putting logos in and stuff. You guys have to realize that I put all of this together myself. Uh, so, like, on Monday, I work all day, and then I have to take my son to his beaver group, and then I have to come home and produce the show. So, keep in mind that anything that gets added to the show, it really has to be something um, that would be, like, relatively quick. Pulling the logos for all 14 um, perfect team winners, that's going to take me some time. And I don't even have access to the system. I'd have to go in the game and look up each team manually and find the logos that way. I don't have access to the logo system. What uh, the these team these players are not on. This is all this is their average in all the perfect team, all levels from perfect all the way down to bronze. Put the WPA and T. There, there is there's no team for these guys. No team. This is an average. I should have put that up there. This is their combined average for the whole game, which I'll I, again I have to specify. Give everyone Paxton logos. Wh who said that? Blitz, great idea, buddy. Every team is a Paxton from now on. Paxton for sure. I'm just gonna change myself. Uh, you know, like it's like um, it's like Boy Scouts, but it's for like younger children. It's what they it's what Boy Scouts are called when they're like six. 
They're called beavers. They go beavers, and then I can't remember where it goes after that. There's another group, beavers, cubs, scouts. Yeah, it's beavers is like the the five and six year old group. Anyway, there you go. You guys learned something new tonight. It's Canadian. It, you know, maybe it's not an American thing or anywhere else. All right, listen. Let's let's stop. Let's let's stop all that. Let's stop that foolishness. Okay. Let's move on to what everybody is really here for. Yeah, we'll de- like I said, guys, if, if you have, because I, there's no way I can, I'll can remember them from the chat. If you do have a suggestion for stuff you'd like to see in the recap, get me on Twitter, get me in the Discord, find me somewhere on social media and let me know. And again, if it's something that I can do, like, again, that whole segment is, is for you guys. So again, like, if, if there's stuff you want to see and we can make it work, then... Hey, we're, we'll, we'll, we'll get it in there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to community requested cards number three. Now, remember, as always, you can submit your ideas for card requests at the link in the chat, which you can find by hitting exclamation point submit. If you are watching this archive on YouTube, the link will be in the description down below. I think I say that every time and I never put the link. But I will put the link in this time. Uh, Just so everybody knows, this will officially be the last community requested content of uh, Out of the Park 19. But don't don't stop submitting your suggestions because that list is going to roll over for 20. We're still going to pull cards from that as well. We do have two more um, contents planned. One for next Monday and one for the Monday after that. They are both pretty cool um so definitely you're definitely going to want to um hang around but as far as community requested content goes this is going to be the last one this set tonight has two bronze a silver a gold and two brand new shiny diamonds let's go in shall we let me get my uh, i'm not really ready not really ready am i ready always i confirm everything 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 that anyone has said in the chat since the stream started consider it confirmed consider it consider it confirmed anything that's in the chat since the stream started you guys can just consider it confirmed all right let's go 1998 dean palmer Dean Palmer, who moved to the Kansas City Royals in 1998. Um, obviously, his ratings are going to be down a little bit because in 1998, oh boys, everyone and his cat hit a home run in 1998. I, it feels like. It feels like everyone and his cat hit a home run in 1998. It really does. Um, Dean Palmer, again, in his first year with Kansas City, uh, he did uh, get traded to Kansas City in late 97. Uh, Was his only all-star appearance. He had 34 home runs, had 119 RBIs. Uh, Was, again, as I said, an all-star and also won a silver slugger. 74 home run power. uh, And that's pretty much what you're going to get with Dean Palmer. Did Did he hit what? I mean, he was, he was, you know. He hit thirty. He hit thirty-four home runs. He hit thirty-four home runs in nineteen ninety-eight, which translates to seventy-four in twenty ten. Anyway, not a bad card. Not great. Surprisingly, for whatever reason, um. Dean Palmer was requested half a dozen times on the sheet. Uh, so, I mean, I'm assuming that that everyone just loved, loves themselves some Dean Palmer. Um, so there you go, Dean Palmer. And again, guys, remember, 
These cards are available right now. I put them in the game like an hour ago. Um, so you can pull these cards in packs. If you bought the card, um, if you bought the card or the card pack yesterday or a week ago, it doesn't matter. If you open it now, you have a chance to get these cards because the cards are not generated until you actually open the pack. I don't know Haas a million times. I don't know who that is. 2003 Jamie Moyer. Old man Jamie Moyer. Holy moly. I feel like Jamie Moyer pitched for like the entirety of my life, which he pretty much did. Um, so Jamie Moyer makes an appearance here in Perfect Team in the 2003 variant. In 2003, Moyer again. Now, here's the thing, guys. For as good as Moyer was for his career that spanned from 1986 all the way to 2012, 2003 was his only All-Star appearance at age 40. Moyer won 21 games and had a 3.27 ERA as he finished fifth in Cy Young voting. 66, both his age and his rating, yes. Uh, again, pretty, not a terrible card. Um, 96 changeup. He's got 71 stuff, 57 move, and 59 control. Again, if you picked up this card um, early on in the game, uh, like, again, when you're at the lower levels, like entry pool um, and, and bronze, if you pulled one of these cards, he's going to he's gonna eat innings for you, um, which is not bad. That's, that sometimes is what you need at the lower levels when you're trying to build your team up um, is a guy to go out there. Um, and eat some innings. And again, a good long man as well. A guy who, you know, if, if you need a long man who, you know, when you're getting beat up, um, he could um, he could be he could be a good long man. So again, Jamie Moyer in perfect team. Now we get now we start moving into the to the, to the top shelf. I can't even I don't remember who this next card is. 2006 Jim Tomey. That's right. It's pretty bad. I would like I, I've been so focused on the top guys on this card um, that I kind of forgot that Jim Tomey was in here. We get a lot of requests for mid 2000 White Sox, and I mean, I, I obviously I can see why. Jim Tomey, a Hall of Famer, uh, many years with the Cleveland Indians, many successful years with the Chicago White Sox and the Philadelphia Phillies as well. 2006, he hit 42 home runs and drove in 109 runs on his way to an all-star season and a 12th place finish in MVP voting. <laughs> his speed is too high at four. I agree. Speed, way too high. Got to get that speed down. Uh, again, for a silver card, lots of pop in his bat. 80 home run power, 73 eye and discipline which is crazy um he's a bit of a liability at first base um so he's probably going to be someone that you're going to want to dh uh but again if you're if you're struggling to find some power um this jim tome might do exactly uh what you need to do not bad 2006 jim tome uh I wouldn't mind having one of those on my, uh, if I packed one of those on my pack only team, uh, again, it would be, it would be hard to, to find that kind of power. We, we've said that before that at the, at the bronze and silver levels, 80 plus power cards are hard to come by. Um, so this Jim Tome could, could fit the bill. Okay, guys, I am super pumped. For this next card, no, it is not the main event, but I am ex like super excited. We are going to try to pull one of these cards later on stream. One of the biggest personalities in baseball in the 80s with the Los Angeles Dodgers. Um, a funky delivery, guy threw a screwball. I mean, he was just... He was so quirky and weird, but you loved watching him pitch. 
1981 rookie sensation Fernando Valenzuela checking in at an 89 overall. 102 stuff, 104 screwball. In his official rookie season of 1981, Fernando Valenzuela had one to remember. 13 and 7 record, a 248 ERA, 11 complete games, 8 shutouts, 192 and a third innings pitch, which led the league that year because of the strike shortened season. A league leading 180 strikeouts. Not only did he win the rookie of the year, but he also won the National League Cy Young Award. Fernando Valenzuela bringing the screwball into perfect team. I, I want, I want one of these cards. Again, if you just look at the raw numbers, people forget how good he was because 81 was the strike shortened season. So you look at, oh, like people who look at the traditional counting stats, they look at it and they're like, oh, like 13 and seven. I mean, whatever. Well, yeah, but he led the league in innings pitch, strikeouts, game started, complete games. He was an absolute animal. We, I want one of these cards. We got to get, we got to get one of these cards. I think, I think this is going to be a nice card. Again, the 107 stamina uh, is really nice as well. Um, 102 stuff, so he's going to strike people. Again, I do worry at the upper levels that movement and control could be could be problematic um, for sure. Uh, going to be interesting to see how he plays. He could be could be quite homer prone uh, for sure. Um, but yeah, I, I want one. Okay. Now still not onto the main event, but this next card is regardless of everyone's love and dying passion of Bo Jackson. This next card has been the I don't know. I can't explain that's for ratings is not uh, ratings is not my department. I have to look into it. Anyway, this next card is the most requested card on the sheet. I, I waited. I waited. I waited. Now it's time. A social media icon. Hundreds of years, not hundreds, many, many, many years after his legend was made. Yes, it's Michael Jordan. No, it's not. It's old Haas Radburn. That is right. Peak historical legend. Old Haas Radburn is in the game. He's here. He's here, ladies and gentlemen. Old Haas is finally getting his due. Old Haas, who pitched from 1881 to the to 1891, primarily for the Providence Grays and also for the Boston Bean Eaters. In 1884, he won 60 games and threw 73 complete games in 678 and two third innings. Okay. Look at this card, ladies and gentlemen. 85 stuff, 84 movement, 86 control, five pitches, including a screwball. Double Scroogey content, ladies and gentlemen, with Valenzuela and old Haas Radburn. 111 stamina, and he can play the outfield. <laughs> he can play the outfield. I don't have the splits just to fish. I, I, we're working on getting that for... Um, we're going to rework the way these look so that we can show the splits um, so that we can show the splits on future future updates. So yeah, so he can hit a little bit too. Um, I mean, hitting stuff aside, this is an unbelievable card. Um, you know, 80, 
80 plus stuff movement and control is is relatively rare with the 111 stamina uh excellent defense at pitcher as well uh, and then he can hit a little bit on top of that uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> this card this card is going to be uh amazing this is going to be a very highly sought after and very very expensive card and oh oh by the way we have one more card we we haven't we have we have another card did you guys forget did you guys think old hoss radburn was the main event i mean he's pretty cool and all but there is one more card who may not be as well known may not be as well known as old Haas Radburn but he's still he, he's gonna be he's it's gonna be an interesting guy. let's show it off last but not least ladies and gentlemen the top card of the evening 1970 Dick Dietz from the San Francisco Giants Dick Dietz only played 646 games in his Major League Baseball career and only eclipsed the 100-game plateau twice. In 1970, he made his only All-Star appearance as he hit 22 home runs, drove in 107 runs, hit 300, walked more than he struck out, yet his avoid case is 26. Maybe it was weird for that year, though. Uh, I got because I got to consider that too. Either way, he OPS nine forty one. Ladies and gentlemen, Dick Dietz ninety eight overall, making his appearance in perfect team. Uh, again, this guy will be highly sought after because he's a catcher uh, with eighty seven gap power, sixty nine contact, seventy one home run power, seventy two eye discipline. Dude can rake. Um, 89 catcher defense uh, position rating. 82 ability. 72 arm is probably the biggest red flag. I mean, other than his four speed. Um, but I mean, would you really expect more from a catcher than four speed? Um, so he does, again, if you're looking for, again, in terms of a 98 overall, uh, you know, you're, you're going to sacrifice a little tight. Again, 72 arm. You're still looking at, um, you're still looking at probably a twenty to twenty-five, maybe a thirty percent caught stealing rating. Um, but he, I mean, he's going to absolutely rake at the plate. Um, this is a top tier, uh, top tier combination. Um, I think he is he he bats right on his baseball reference, so I'm assuming he bats right in the game. Um, but yeah, Dick Dietz. So let's take a look at the summary. There are the six brand new cards available in perfect team right now. Again, as I said, you can pull these in packs right now. We have Jamie Moyer, Dean Palmer, old Haas Radburn, Dick Dietz, Jim Tomei, and rookie sensation Fernando Valenzuela community requests content number three. I'm, I'm not going to lie. You guys have like in the, in the three community requested content um, that we've done, you guys have absolutely crushed it. Um, Blitz. We got to make that happen for sure. We need a Jake PB card. I don't disagree. Uh, but yeah, you guys have crushed it with the suggestions again, exclamation points, submit in the chat, keep the suggestions coming. Uh, like I said, we're not going to be doing another community uh, request of content for 19, but we are going to be doing them for 20. I promise you that. Um, absolutely, for sure, for sure, for sure. Um, for sure, for sure. Okay, guys. Now, before everybody all tries to get on up out of here, what do you say we give away some perfect points? Uh, so tonight, guys, we're going to give away two prizes of 10,000 perfect points. Um, you can hit exclamation point ticket one time, one time only in the chat. Uh, it'll, again, it'll give you a, well, you won't be able to see it. The chat will be going so fast. Uh, you're not going to be able to see, uh, but it will give you a confirmation again, exclamation point ticket one time and one time only. And then we'll do again, two prizes of 10,000 perfect points a piece. Um, 
If you do win, again, if you're in the Discord, um, discord.gg slash OTP, you'll find me, Chris, Perfect Team, CM, top right corner. Um, send me a message uh, and send me your team name and your username um, so that I can send you the points. If you just want to, if you're on, you can uh, DM me on Twitch uh, or use what is what they call whispers on Twitch, I guess. You can do that too. You can whisper us on Twitch and uh, send me the same thing. Username, team name. We'll get you those points. A lickety split. Um, programming note, guys. If you guys want to hang around after this week in Perfect Team, uh, I'm going to show off the current state of the Snaggletown Snappers. Uh, see if we can make a few moves. See how we made out in the fourth game of a series against Matt, one of the developers of OTP. Um, he was up two games to one on me. Uh, I'm sure he probably came by to gloat earlier, but I missed it in the chat. Um, so that's one of those things, you know, that we miss. Uh, again, exclamation point ticket. We have 99 people. 99 people in the draw. We'll leave it open for another 15, 20 seconds. You can only enter once. If you try to enter a second time, you're going to get a message that it failed. Um, so, yeah, if you guys want to hang around after this week in Perfect Team, once we do the giveaway, um, we'll we'll show off my team, maybe rip some packs, and maybe show off the Jays team too. <clears throat> um, we, there will be a new – well, there will be a podcast, OTP Now, this week. Uh, but it is the audio of the Hall of Fame um, stream that we did. Um, Rich is away on business this week, so we do not have a brand new podcast. Um, the podcast this week, like I said, will be the audio um, of the Hall of Fame special that we did with myself, um, Rich Grisham, and Paul Sporer. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be what's going to be. We're going to be doing that uh, this week. All right. Uh, last chance to get in, exclamation point ticket. We're closing the draw in five, four, three, two, one. Hold your fire, hold your fire. The draw is closed. The draw is closed. Thanks, Matt. I appreciate that, buddy. All right, 102. What's the hat this week? I'll show it off in a minute, Jake. 102. Good luck to everybody. Again, if you win, hit me in the DMs on Discord or here on Twitch. Congratulations to Pooplog31. Pooplog31, you found yourself 10,000 perfect points richer. Send me your specifics. Our second winner is Newcroft. Newcroft, congratulations. You have also won 10,000 perfect points. Again, make sure you uh, DM me on Discord or send us a whisper here on Twitch with your username, team name, and I'll get you those points um, straight away. Uh, so, yes, guys. So, the like I said, oh, uh, this hat is the Nebraska Black Shirts, the Nebraska University Black Shirts uh, hat. I've had it for years and years. One of my faves. One of my faves. I'm not a Nebraska University fan, but I love the hat. The hat is is everything for me. Let's throw the banner back up. All right, guys. Well, that is going to do it for this episode of This Week in Perfect Team. I appreciate all you guys coming by. Again, remember, if you have not picked up a copy of Out of the Park Baseball 19, the Steam Lunar New Year Sale, $4.99. Get over there. Pick up a copy. You get the full game, access to Perfect Team. I mean, why not? Get yourself ready for Out of the Park 20. Drop a five sheet. Pick up Out of the Park Baseball 19 right now. Um, as always, you can follow us right here. If you're watching on Twitch, hit that follow button at the top of the screen. We are live typically at 8 p.m. every single Monday. Um, right here, we're this week in Perfect Team. We also have TJ streams on Tuesday. The franchise hockey guys are here on Wednesdays as well. Make sure you follow us on Twitter, twitter.com slash OTP baseball, twitter.com slash OTP perfect team. Uh, at Grog, uh, no. Also, guys, if you're on the Facebook, facebook.com slash OTP baseball, give us a, throw us a like over there. Uh, again, if you're, if you're not in the Discord, um, discord.gg slash OTP we eclipsed 2,400 members in the Discord 
Maybe we'll do uh, maybe we'll do a little giveaway when we hit 2,500 members in the Discord. Huh? Maybe. Probably. We'll probably do something. Uh, so yeah, discord.gg slash OTV. Head on over there. As always, guys, I have been Chris Jardine, aka Snaggle J, community manager for Out of the Park Perfect Team. And until next time, keep swinging for the fences. <laughs>